The beauty scientists, Dr. Christy Hamilton and Dr. Roy Kim. Real beauty without the hype. The question then is different ways to achieve the internal bra. So mm -hmm. we use your own tissue. We can use various substances like AC oleodermal matrix, man-made substances. Let me talk first briefly, because it's very brief, about using your own tissue. So we've been doing this for decades, but what we found is using your own tissue, whether it's dermis or even fascia, it works, but it tends not to last that long in the average patient. So even though the concept's the same, we have definitely, about 10 years ago, there was a big surge in acellular dermal matrix, which is essentially getting some animal skin, it's processed, and we use it. But it's less common, and I basically don't use it because of various reasons, including the high cost, as well as, you know, the way it was described to both of us is, well, we're going to put it in there, but at the time of surgery, it may move up or down a little, depending on how it heals up. What has your yes. experience been? I have mainly used those materials in breast reconstruction as opposed to, and, and, and you're really talking about more like complex revisional aesthetic breast surgery more than the, the primary primary cases, I would imagine. But the, the common theme that kept on coming up was like, you know, they're using skin, whether it's animal skin or human skin and skin is stretchy. So for the same reason that a patient may see sag happen, we're using a material that's also capable of stretching like that to provide support. And so I think just fundamentally, it's not the ideal material to use, although it does have its benefits, right? But like being like a biologic material that integrates well with the tissues and ultimately will remodel to just melt into the body and become part of you. And so that's a, that's a significant benefit, but maybe not providing as much support as we were hoping it would. Yes. Thank you for joining us on The Beauty Scientist. Be sure to visit thebeautyscientist.com and learn more about modern beauty and connect with Dr. Hamilton and Dr. Kim.